Hey guys, Generalist Programmer here. Welcome to this Godot 2D platformer tutorial. This is going to be the first tutorial part of the series. I'm not sure how many videos there are going to be in the series at this point because I've only just started recording this and I'm going to be recording one video as I find time to do so. So the project is already developed and completed. So I'm just going to be creating videos from here on. If you are interested in looking at the full tutorial, I have put the entire tutorial in a text written format on my blog and you can actually follow that to complete the entire project. I will be adding videos hopefully weekly and hopefully we can get this tutorial series done before the end of the year and you guys can actually start working on getting your platformer going in Godot. So what we're going to be covering in this Godot tutorial series is we're going to allow for player animations so you're going to get an introduction into how the animation system works in Godot. We're going to do a little bit of drawing to draw some players and various items for our game which we're going to be setting up. We'll be looking at physics, we'll be looking at colliders and a bunch of GD scripting which will then control all of that. We'll look at how to create sounds and bring them into your Godot project and actually use them. We'll look at coin and item pickups in our game. And at the end of the series, we should have a fully fledged platformer game, which you can then take and you can expand on and hopefully even release your own game at some stage using this as a base. So I'm just going to now run the completed project just to show you what we will be building and what you will end up with uh, in the end at the end of this tutorial series. So just give it a second to, to start running. So we just have a player with a, a idle animation. Initially we can walk around and there's a little bit of a walk animation. We can jump and there's a bit of sound. And we can jump onto platforms and collect items and you'll see that it updates our UI. So we'll be doing a whole bunch of things here where we create the platforms. We'll be creating the graphics for this using a free piece of software called Inkscape. We'll be bringing that graphics into our scenes. We'll be setting up our player. We'll be doing animations and we'll be doing a bunch of scripting around coin pickups and our UI elements. So you'll learn a bit about um, game managers and singleton patterns in this tutorial series. So guys, thanks. This is the end of this first video. Hopefully in the next video, we'll actually start up with our project. Just wanted to give a very quick introduction into what we will be building in this tutorial series. So guys, if you've liked this video, please like below and also subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you can get updates on the next video that gets released. Also, if you do find the time, please comment below about the sound quality of this video. I am trying a little bit of a different approach to the sound with my videos and I just want to get some feedback on whether the sound has improved or not please let me know in the comments below. Thanks guys, see you in the next video. Cheers.